Hello, this is Steve Mackle, head coach of MarathonTraining.tv, to talk to you today about injuries. If I get asked one question more than any other question, it's what do I do about this injury? Let me tell you, I know I've been there before. I'm going to tell you my story really quickly. Training for my first marathon about halfway through the program, the outside of my knee started hurting, and then I get it, started getting shin splints. I was actually out on a 13-mile on a run, and about 10 miles in, I got shut down. I couldn't run another step. So I got totally frustrated. I had to give up a couple weeks of training. I was worried that I could have, would have to make it up, that I could even finish the marathon. So if you're a beginner, I totally know where you are. Um, at that point, I finished the marathon, but I was hurting for weeks after that. So I decided I needed to go out and find a way that I could run without feeling all this pain. So I started doing a bunch of research. I talked to coaches. I checked out different running systems. I talked to PTs and doctors and stuff like this. And I found the system that works great. And it's called Chi Running. I'm just going to pull the book out. Right here, Chi Running by Danny Dreyer. He's an ultra marathoner, and he, what I like about this, he talks a lot about the biomechanics of running. But here's what I found on the back of the book that immediately drew me in. More than 24 million people run in the United States alone, but 65% will have to stop at least once this year because of injury. Still others choose to run through the pain. Why run through pain? I mean, this is a big deal for runners, is injuries. So after, after doing more and more research, this was making sense, but I found one theme that kept coming back and back and back when I started talking to people about injuries, and it's up here, repetitive stress. And this concept of repetitive stress is pretty easy to understand. Just think about it. Your foot hits the ground or your feet hit the ground about 1,500 times a mile. So just hold out a hand and take your other, your other hand, make a fist, and start hitting it. If you want, hit it 1,500 times. You'll understand how that energy has to be absorbed. So it's the same thing with the body. That energy, when the foot hits the ground, actually moves up the body. And if you have a weak link in that chain, just think that chain's being hit, hit, hit until one day it breaks. And there you have your injury. So we have to find a way to what? Reduce the stress. If we can reduce the stress, we're going to decrease potential for repetitive stress injury. So two key chi running concepts that really make a big difference here. Number one is alignment. And you want to get your bones, ligaments, and tendons in alignment. That way other parts of your muscles and other parts of your body aren't doing extra work. It also allows a nice solid structure for when your foot hits the ground for the energy to go up that chain. The other thing is while you've got that nice solid structure, you're also learning to relax because the last thing you want to do, the ground is a force, is hit that force with another force head on. If you can relax and just let your feet, let the energy pass through, move back as you're going forward, it totally reduces the amount of stress. So we really want to try reducing stress. In fact, it's worked for not only myself, but over a thousand people that I've coached, I'm going to read you a quick testimonial. And this is from a girl named Sandy. And Sandy wrote, she said, I took up running to cope with some crazy stresses in my life. We all know about those crazy stresses. I decided to train for a half marathon. I got up to mile eight, but started developing knee pain. I was bummed out because I thought I was going to have to go back to walking and give up on running. I had heard about the cheap running on the internet and thought I would give it a try. I joined the Beach Runners, and the Beach Runners is a a running group out in Los Angeles that Coach Gary and I train every Saturday morning. And I was running pain-free in just two weeks of running with the Chi Running Method. The Chi Running Method has helped me not only run pain-free, but also to get more in tune with my body. In my first year of running with the Chi Running Method, I have finished two marathons, two half marathons, and one really tough ultra marathon. Not bad considering I was just hoping to finish a half marathon when I started training a little over a year ago. And let me tell you, um, I ran that ultra marathon with Sandy, and it was one of the toughest ultra marathons. It was rocky, uphill. She did fantastic, and she was pain free. And the same thing is, I went from a person in double knee wraps before she ran into a person who ran that same ultra marathon with no knee wraps. So it absolutely works. But right now, I'm going to give you three secrets that you can use at home to actually help you reduce the potential for injury. The first thing is to understand the running form. The best thing you can do is the same thing I did. Find a coach. Have a coach show you how to do it because learning running form, sometimes you have to have somebody look at you from the side to help you see what you're doing wrong. In the chi running form, 
takes some practice and really takes a certified coach to help you do. The number, the second thing you can do, and this is an, this is not a secret. This is age old. Everybody knows it, but nobody does it. Is proper warm up and cool down. That body has to be warmed up slowly. You can't go out and hit it. You have to go out easy, ramp it up, then do the meat of your workout, and then cool down. And when you finish cooling down, you need to do stretching. Everybody knows it. Nobody does it. We're all weekend warriors. We don't have enough time. If you miss this, you're increasing your chances for injury. And the last one is pay close attention to what you're feeling. I always tell people when I'm giving a chi running lesson, I always tell them that, you know, you don't think about your feet until they start hurting. But if you start thinking about your feet and your knees and your hips and your back and your shoulders while you're running, if something starts actually bothering you, you can try to fix it instead of waiting until that link in the chain breaks. So there's three tips that you can use at home that you can practice out on the road to actually help yourself reduce injury. So I want you to have great runs out there. Thank you for watching this. This is Steve Mackle, head coach of MarathonTraining.tv, saying train focused.